This is a hypermature cataract. A side port is made with 20 gauge MVR blade. Capsule is stained with tripan blue under air bubble. Excess of tripan blue is washed out. Sodium hyaluronate is injected. First, a small central rexis is made to relieve possible intralenticular pressure. Another side port is made. Main port is made with 2.8 mm microkeratome. Fluffy cortex is washed out to relieve possible intralenticular pressure so that rexis will not run to the periphery when it is being enlarged. A small neck is made with a 26 gauge needle and a capsule flap is raised. This flap is grasped with a side port rexis forceps and rexis is enlarged. Repeated regrasping is necessary to have a good rexis. Faco emulsification is started. Cortex is taken off first. A standard stop and chop technique is used. A long deep trench is made because cataract is pretty hard. And now it is cracked. as the posterior plate is very tough. Segments are not getting separated easily. A good dispersive viscoelastic is used to protect the posterior capsule and two Sinsky hooks are used to separate the two fragments. Now, as you can see, one heminucleus has disappeared behind the iris. Now, I take a deep breath and put lot of dispersive viscoelastic. I start emulsifying the visible heminucleus. Where is the other half? Some more viscoelastic is injected. As posterior capsule is clean without any folds. Most probably other heminucleus got stuck in the zonules after piercing the equatorial capsule.
as soon as viscoelastic is put it disappears and again reappears finally it is retrieved with a sinski hook and brought into the anterior chamber copious amount of viscoelastic is injected to block the equatorial rent in the capsule this half is then carefully emulsified seen to it that no piece of nucleus gets near to the equatorial rent cortical remnants are aspirated As you can see there is no fold in the posterior capsule so the rent must be in the equatorial region hyperphobic acrylic lens is implanted haptics are rotated perpendicular to the equatorial rent in the capsule viscoelastic is removed by bimanual irrigation and aspiration What exactly happened? Let us see the replay. As I am separating the two fragments because of excessive lateral pressure, the proximal fragment pierced the capsule at equator.